Hey, what's good everybody? Jay Ping here checking in, respectmyregion.com. I'm here today with a West Coast Weed Tour review featuring a super cool product, the infused marshmallows from a company in California called Mellows. They've got this super cute packaging. I picked this up at Calma in West Hollywood. They've got a uh, super cool location. Um, the dispensary has a bunch of products and I had never seen these before. Uh, and I used to be a big fan of the Hondu infused marshmallows in Washington, and so for me this was really a no-brainer. <clears throat> this particular flavor is the birthday cake. It's a five milligram THC uh, edible, handcrafted in San Francisco, gluten-free, dairy-free, no CBD. It says classic vanilla marshmallow with rainbow sprinkles and that we need to wait at least two hours for the full effect of the product. So uh, I will end up having to let you guys know about my full actual experience in the YouTube review, the description, as well as the article that's coming. So tap in with that. And then the ingredients, <clears throat> cane sugar, light corn syrup, coconut oil, rainbow sprinkles, which are basically sugar, corn starch, hydro hydrogenated palm kernel oil, Soya lech lecithin, gum arabic, confectioner's glaze, FD&C colors, yellow number six, lake, yellow number five, dye, yellow number five, lake, blue number one, lake, red number 40, lake, red number three, dye. Cornstarch, confectioner, sugar, gelatin, butter, vanilla extract, vanilla, butter, vanilla extract, vanilla extract, kosher salt, and cannabis. So, a lot of fucking products. God damn, that was a mouthful. Uh, nutrition facts, one piece is 15 grams, serving size one, calorie 60, total fat one gram, sodium 15 milligrams, total carbs 13 grams, sugar is eight grams. So there is eight grams of sugar in this one marshmallow. I guess it's a marshmallow, makes sense. Uh, it does say it contains soy, manufacturing a facility that pro processes milk, egg, wheat, and nuts. Full spectrum solventless cannabis infusion made with red Congolese by Goldfield San Francisco. So that is super cool. The cannabis is full spectrum solventless cannabis infused with a red Congolese strain that is cultivated by Goldfield in San Francisco. Goldfield does some really great products. They've got some super cool packaging as well. This particular marshmallow, however, was manufactured and packaged on <clears throat> August 6, 2020. It has a best buy date of February 6th. 2021 so that's coming up best stored in freezer thaw 10 minutes at room temperature so we've had this since we bought it at the store it's been roughly two hours uh, a little bit of traffic here in la so i'm excited to try it out what do you guys think what do you guys think pretty beautiful or what all right here we go it does say to use scissors to cut it i don't have scissors i don't typically use scissors fuck me for not having scissors mm. there we go I shouldn't do that, but I do. When you smell it, <coughs> it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. But when you pull it out, it looks a little better. Let me show you guys. <coughs> there we go. It's a marshmallow. All right, one bite. Okay, so I'll be completely honest. It doesn't taste like a marshmallow. It has the consistency of a marshmallow. There are sprinkles for whatever the sprinkle flavors are. But it just doesn't taste like much of anything. Yeah. I'm not even getting any of the sugar. I'm just getting the sprinkles, I feel like. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I like the packaging. I expected a little bit more. I'm really just getting the taste of sprinkles. Um, when I think of a score out of 10, ah, oh man. Not necessarily something I can recommend unless you really, really want to taste the taste of sprinkles. Um, kind of messy. 
I guess this might be better if it was frozen, but for the most part, I'm just not really digging this. I like the packaging and the marketing and the presentation and the appeal of this more than the actual execution of it. Um, with that said, I'm probably gonna be down there closer to like <clears throat> maybe a five, five and a half. Um, just the flavor for me is not something that I would recommend to someone um, unless again, they were just like super duper set on trying something out of, you know, out of the usual but yeah let me know what you guys think i mean you know go try it it was only it was only five bucks um but yeah unfortunately not super good so yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys for the love uh shout out to comma for at least giving me the opportunity to buy something super cool i think nonetheless although it didn't taste great i'm sure there will be other varieties that they come out with that will probably taste super fire hopefully they make a marshmallow that is covered in peanut butter because then that would be life-changing so um, if you agree, let me know. If you don't, talk some shit in the comments. Give me a subscription. We really appreciate it. Uh, of course, share this, like, follow on Instagram, and I will see you guys down the road. Final score, I'll give it a five and a half. Packaging was super dope. Call was super dope. Lots of information on the back. Would have been super cool if it would have tasted good. So, I'll see you guys on the road. Love you guys. Peace.